Hello, welcome to another video. This is going to be a new sort of second of videos I'm going to do around my new running goal for 2020. As a lot of you know, well, most of you are watching this, probably already know, I do obstacle course racing. But in 2020, come on, Nala. I'm going to take on a different challenge, or two challenges. One that involves this four legged friend of mine, and one that is solely myself as well. And the one that I'm going to be doing is taking on the South Downs Way 50 miler, which is 50 miles on the South Downs Way. And it's got 1750 meters of elevation, so very hilly. And I'm not used to hilly for that distance. Then the one with Nala is. We're going to do a few canny cross races, which means teaching her to run on the lead like she is now, which she's not used to doing. She'd rather be off the lead, chasing deer and all sorts. So follow along the journey and see how we get on. So what am I going to cover during these videos? Well, I've broken the training process down into four things. You've got training, recovery, nutrition and kit. There are four major factors I believe in the process of doing an ultra. Training obviously is massively important. You've got to get your body used to the distance, time on your feet, keep going, come on. Time on your feet and elevation if it's hilly. So obviously that will be dependent on, come on Nala, dependent on uh, the race you choose recovery because if you're not recovering from the training then you're wasting your time nutrition because when you're running that far you're gonna need to fuel on the run and make sure you're fueled in between sessions and recovering correctly with the nutrition and lastly kit there's so much kit out there you can use for different things work for different people and I'm not sure what's going to work for me. So I'll show you the kit I'm trialing, using, and see if it works. And they're the four main steps I'm going to take you through. And it's going to be highs and lows. I'm going to document it all. What I know is dragging me along far too fast, like now. And we'll see how it goes. Hello, Nella Bear. Right, we're an hour into the run. We've just had a start because I let this one have a drink from the puddle and let her off the lead. She's not used to running the lead, so we're gradually building up the time. And this is not as, gonna actually be not as long as ever run. Two hours we're going for. As long as four, that's 90 minutes. We've been building up your volume, haven't we, through the weeks. You only need a couple of days. And just to let everyone know, when I'm running with Nala, she is my number one priority. If people say, oh, it's harsh, you're running with your dog. No, it's not at all, she's fine. She's a border collie. She made about herding the sheep all day. So. You're fine, aren't you? And I've actually slowed the pace down today because it's our longest run. So we slowed down and if she needs to stop, we stop. If she needs to slow down, we slow down. If she wants to speed up, we'll speed up. Like earlier, a deer ran out in front of us and all decided she wanted to drop a 330k. Like, thanks for that one, mate. But yeah, so I thought I'd let you guys know and she absolutely loves it. But right, we better get on with this run and I'll catch you guys in a minute. So, training for an ultra. How am I going to go about it? Well, I actually coach myself. I like, write all my own training programs. And I have been since February this year. And it's gone quite well because I just listen to my body and run off feel a lot. So, originally, that is how I was going to approach it. Then I thought about getting a coach, but now I've gone back to do my own programming, trial and error. And I think that's gonna be best. So that's the approach I'm gonna to take to start off with and see how I get on. It should work, just all about being sensible, but I'm gonna share all my training and everything like that, that I do. Obviously a lot of it is gonna be at easy conversational pace because you're not running 50 miles like high-end effort it's going to be an uncomfortable 
comfortable effort like uncomfortably comfortable is how i believe the race will be run so if he runs at that pace and runs slower then there will be things faster like intervals hill reps but like i said i'll take you through the whole training process Jeez, that's my little ghetto also one more thing i've actually now just set up a website slash blog well i haven't my wife done it for me so shout out to my amazing wife for doing that and on there i'm going to be putting some more information about it as well as we go along not all the time every now and again i write a blog about how things are going maybe a review of some kit or nutrition so keep your eyes peeled for that i will link it in the description and also if anyone's got any advice done anything like this before i'm open to everything i want to get as much information as i can so if there's anything you feel like you can share with me please do